All right, hey guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to brighten up this blonde. She is a natural level three to four. She has been a client of mine for about 10 years and we have done every color you can think of. We can, we've done turquoise, blue, purple, reds. We've gone completely dark. Um, so right now at this point, she wants to be blonde. So this is our second session on her. Um, she's, I think I saw her probably like, like six, seven weeks ago. So on the second session, the main thing that we want to accomplish is to really brighten up and cancel out any warmth because she really wants to be blonde. When she looks at herself, she wants to see blonde. So that's what we're going to do today. And I'm going to use the Jaquin Pro Brilliant Lightener with 20 volume. Okay guys, so as I do more of these videos, I'm going to find better ways for you guys to look at this and to see this. So bear with me as, I, as I'm editing, I'm really starting to see, hey, I should put the camera here or I should do this. So just bear with me. And so right now what I'm doing is I've already sectioned out everything. Um, so I basically just move the front partings. All the front, I leave that totally out of the way. And so what I did was I split the back of the head just in half and then I kept a small section at her crown out because I'm going to actually do a little technical part there and I will show you guys that. But right now all I'm doing is I'm teasing a little bit because this is at the back of her head. Basically I'm really just addressing those old blonde pieces. So you'll see what I'm doing is I'm doing about one inch subsections and then I'm just weaving bigger pieces and I'm teasing it and literally just putting the lightener on there. It may look like that I'm moving really fast, but I can probably do her hair in probably about 30 sec. I mean 30 seconds, 30 minutes, um, usually 20 to 35 minutes. Um, so that's the reason why it, it's not sped up. It's literally, that's just how fast I foil. Um, so yes, that's, I'm going to do that all the way up the head. So I'm gonna speed this part up because basically it's just, it's not very technical at all. I'm just doing coverage at this point. Okay, so I feel like this entire video I'm going to be apologizing for the recording, um, but right now what I'm doing is I'm taking horizontal sections on a triangle subsection I took at the crown. So the importance of this is this is where you're really going to get a lot of the coverage and you can do this by taking horizontal slices. I took them very fine. I did not take them, not, did not take them big at all. And so what I'm doing is I'm literally just taking it and I'm just kind of like weaving out spine pieces and then I'm putting in a foil and as you see here I'm folding it under so I can make sure that I'm getting right to the root because this is right where the crown is and so I want it to be pretty saturated and so as you see she's got those blonde ends so I'm not actually saturating those pieces because I'm not really wanting to have any type of breakage. Her hair has always colored very well for me. 
I've never had a huge problem ever getting anything um, and getting her hair to do, actually do what I want it to do. But as you can see, I've kind of like over directed that hair and I slid that foil underneath to make sure that that root was going to be completely covered. So as you can see here, I'm literally just going up that triangle um, and just adjusting those bottom foils as I go up just to make sure that I'm not getting any kind of, um, you know, cheetah lines or any kind of bleach that's going over that foil because um, that's something I'm going to have to correct at the bowl if I don't be mindful of the technical application at this point right here. Okay. So I'm just going to fast forward this little part and I'm going to finish up this little section and we're going to actually move to the front of her head. Okay. Okay, so now we're getting to the bang section. For some reason, I guess I lost my um, recording of the sides. Basically, what I did was I took diagonal um, sections right at the ear, and I did like three um, weaves, fine weaves there, and then I went horizontal all the way up from, from that point. Um, so basically, what I'm doing right now and I'll show you in a minute because at this point I realized that you guys are not actually seeing me take the section. So in a minute, I think after a couple of foils, I'll show you um, and I'll have my client actually face the mirror. I mean, face the camera. Okay. So basically I'm taking very small fine points here because just like anybody else, they want brightness in the front of their face. She wants, again, remember she wants to see blonde. So in order for me to do that, I had to at least have two or three sections of blonde there. What I did though at the very first foil is I kind of teased it a little bit. So that way it didn't look so um, it's like sliced and it kind of gave some type of um, breakage up there. So that way it wouldn't be so cut off and it would actually be seamless at the root. So I think it's this foil right here that actually made her turn and look. Um, yeah, so this is where you kind of see where I'm kind of taking it. I'm not going and you see how I'm not actually taking that lightener so far down the hair because it's already blonde. I'm basically just kind of grazing it, not saturating, not soaking those ends because again, I don't want to have issues with any kind of um, breakage at the bowl and don't want to deal with that. So you can't really see this very well. So I'm going to explain it. I took a small little corner piece because she parts her hair, not on this side, but on this other side. So what I'm doing right now is I took a very small corner piece from where like the natural receding hairline of someone's hair. I took a small, like fine little um, slice and stuck a blonde piece there. So that way she didn't get a black hole right at that receding hairline and where that hairline is. Um, this is very important when you're looking at the curvature of someone's face especially if they're wanting to see blonde because one thing you don't want to do is when a client pulls their hair back you don't want to have issues with them them actually seeing dark as they pull that hair back so doing these small little details is what's going to create this the the actual blondage that a client is wanting to see okay so i processed her for room temperature for about 20 minutes because she is so dark, I always have to usually stick her with a little bit of heat. So what I did was I used Jacqueline Pro's Diamond Lightener. It is a lightener that has toning ability at level 9 or 10. So what I did was I mixed it with 10 volume and it lists up to 9 levels. So what I made sure that I did is I went through the foils and I put the 10 volume Diamond Lightener on the ends just to bump those pieces up and to kind of give some pizzazz there and some some brightness and then i went through on the hair that was all left out and i teased those and i actually put um the lightener on that as well
So after this, I put her under the dryer for about 10 minutes and then I rinsed her out at the bowl and I'm going to show you the picture in just a second of what she looked like as soon as I took her out from the foils. I used these two Demi colors from Jaquin Pro along and then I was just showing you the diamond lightener, the, um, the bucket, but those are the two that I used and I used it with three volume. Um, and here is the actual picture of what she looked like right out of the bowl. So I know it looks super scary, but this was the finished look. And basically what I did was I did no color melt. I literally just mixed those two um, Demi colors and applied it everywhere. And I left it on her head for about 15 minutes um, to really give it a nice solid toning and it will last her a long time. Um, I think it turned out great. She loved it. Obviously she wants to go a little bit lighter. You can still see some, a little bit of warmth in there, but her hair is in great condition. And Jacqueline's lightener is very slow. I don't want to say slow, it's not really slow, but it's a very uh, gentle lightener and it does the job and it has kept her hair super nice and super clean. So make sure to like, subscribe, and tell me what you think about the video.